What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stand today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? But normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go. Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! <laughs> and so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the... I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
quite the gatherer, aren't you, little lost? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. shiny there.
metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Connected to the door somehow.
Why did they die here? What happened to them? I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... Long down there. Come. <clears throat> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy. Such things are dangerous. No! Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Enough 
muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <coughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Machines coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. We don't want. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. Crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! 
Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. safe now. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Chance? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Again! Thank you. 
You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Aloy, quick! Hey! What? How, how 
Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. my mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. You 
your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? 
Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grata follows the law. Our science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate.
What are you waiting for? You have parts together. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong. beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Two more days, then I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. It's almost as though someone is trying to talk to me. But that simply can't be. Why does she think the tribe's laws don't apply to her? A proper Nora would know her place. I will not be provoked by an outcast. Forgive me, but it is forbidden to talk to outcasts. Just don't look and she'll go away. Eventually. We must follow the rules of the tribe. They are there for our protection. Why do some people find it so hard to heed the matriarch's wisdom? I have nothing to say to an outcast. All mother, help this outcast learn her place. She's old enough to know the tribe's rules, isn't she? No talking to outcasts. Why would I have anything to say to an outcast? Really? I'm not stupid enough to respond to an outcast. Why do some people find it so hard to heed the tribe's wisdom?
sides will get damp. Quick way down. Everything. Tasty. Hello, Grotta. Oh, Mother. Since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, oh, Mother and provide for me once more. Good news, Grata. Once again, All Mother has brought you... rabbits. All Mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, All Mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll... See what I can do. Ouch.
You're not gonna be the one to stop me.
hello. Well, I can. Please, a word? You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help, whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me, it's my daughter Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. You know the matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. 
You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes. Southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. Father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. The rocks is close by. this for later. Grotta may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way. machine.
This looks promising. Aha! Grata's prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out to Mother's Gate. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all mothers, she's never lonely.
but not out of ideas. Thanks for saving me from those machines. Talk to you for a minute. I just want to thank you. Thank you. I thought those watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Awana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too, but then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. This trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. Karst and get a trip caster. The 
trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. It takes long before scrappers come looking for parts. There. Time to get that spear.
Arana will be happy to have a chance. Easy, easy.
brush beneath the trees. that. back with the spear. First you send a Rana back to me and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. And me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything.
When I think what it would have been like if I had lost Arana, I... Thank you, Halo. Grata, all alone with all mother. The only way she knows. Hear your prayer, Venus Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. So you'll cry for her, but you won't speak to me. Fine. I guess that makes you the better outcast. Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run into proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata. For now. Oh, brother. Hear me as I count off my years of devotion. Let none be speaking of you as your soothing whisper comes in the hushing of the grass. Oh, Mother, see how the beads have been worn smooth in the turning. When they were new, I prayed for my elders. But now they are old as I am. I pray for the young. So much for being careful. Scrappers, looking for metal.
should have brought a cart. you calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't. And, and his camp was covered in blood. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different, a little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. What do you mean, forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then, please. Did you find Braun? I'm still looking for him. Then don't let me keep you. I'll be back as soon as I have news of Braun. Thank you. I can't stop worrying about him.
That'll help. later. but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Wrong with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. There, a bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here, but whoever left it must have also left tracks.
this. Sorry to spoil your fun. Blood from the camp came from the spore. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? What are those scrappers picking at? Looks like it was a if it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear.
unloaded these supplies. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? Hardy little plant. You'll help. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you are not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me, keep me company, help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom, you're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these... Spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, they're... They're whispers. They, they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory. And may the Forgotten leave you be.
gone, outcast. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in Mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks. But you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the Embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but... Everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me.
you've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. What is it now? Another day, another trade. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. Thing I'm shunned, or I'd actually have to talk to these idiots.
I don't have time for outcasts. I don't have anything to say to her sort. We must follow the rules of the tribe. They are there for our protection. Oh no, an outcast. Why can't she just leave the tribe alone? I can't hear anything, no, nope, not a thing. I found this. Hunting me. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlawed traitor charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Look, Rost. I've thought it through. 
And I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not going to happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. Watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful.
entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. They won't see it coming.
why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it, after the proving, and after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. I'll find a use for you.
It's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, the center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was of the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. Proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Carja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I serve the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. The thing is, I'm telling you. you have in mind.
May the goddess protect. I wish you well. to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. No one died. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided, a world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them, feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. The Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted, metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all huh, were her nice. children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of their wild out? embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. Leave. 
eyes with a fake. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminous hold your fruit, nor, oh. nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azuran, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Oh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Evil I am the Lord. Tears has gone too far this On time. The eve of inviting these bloodthirsty cards. No, just no, stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest tree. He's wearing a focus, as just like mine. Everyone's acting like these cursed cards are honored guests. Take their your grave. Where did we you find join your prayers. I'm that they will stand tall we in the sun. I am grateful for He's your wearing audience. He's a focus, just like mine. To be taken into I your embrace. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll. I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? 
His name is Owen? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Might even give them Nora a war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? No, oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather uh, 
direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter, so it was hard to take, but then the derangement starts up. Now, when a hunter fought, few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Like the sawtooth? Yeah, 10 years ago, that one. So what's making it happen? No one knows. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers, but the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge or an invitation. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Don't you have a blessing to attend? Let's talk later. The past should be left in the past. Are in place. Uh, oh! Expecting to go? Uh, 
in truth, I, I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. that takes flight, a glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift, indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually, the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you. I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Who is the sun king you speak for? His luminance Avad is the 14th king of the radiant line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Oh, uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? Oh, <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? Oh, no, no, no. No. 
Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend who read. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Patriarch Tears has gone too far this time, inviting these bloodthirsty cards. Perhaps the card. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the Proofing. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? 
Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The High Matriarchs, most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the Matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter. But there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the High Matriarchs requires a majority. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen us around tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing the wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. 
We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really is. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> the festival was better last year or the year before last. It's nonsense. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very pregnant here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Are you gonna let Boss talk Where's to you? Where's your that bite, outcast? I wouldn't. Or did you need my permission to speak in the to presence fight. of a true Not Nora? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. It's late, and I've got nothing to say to you. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay, thanks. So, your first day in mother's heart. What do you think?
You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? another. Well, walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala, but you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now, that's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You gotta kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! 
That's it. No way, but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just... Who's in the lead? You know I can't see. Fuck. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. I've got to keep going. The outcast. The old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. I made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast and now brave. Who is first among us. Ah!
descend while we have a chance.
dying. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? Where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that where are they? I should keep looking. I'm picking up some kind of signal. the rest of my things.
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Matriarch Tirza gave strict orders that you were not to leave without her. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please. Just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. 
The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders the night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister, for once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Here, so what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred, 
We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Machines are frenzy. Our mother will forgive us. She will. I'd we'll rather not tell we'll you. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. I never know when I might need these. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Everything's sharp and looming in the rain. Raised. You're alive.
Oh, Mother, please. Please. They. Varl and his followers. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast. Varl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here at Mother's Watch that we will make our stand. So far, he proves all right. And we have learned to the atonement and more. Please, Varl, forgive us. Here are good. Hand. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. Is she still here? I don't care. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the proving. You saw Boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker, so open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! 
Are not a brave. I came to help defend Mother's Watch, but I never imagined I'd see anything like this. You killed that demon, pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines, I think I figured it out, but I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. I want that gate repaired immediately. 